then you see all the volunteers that help us and you try and say thanks, but normally you feel like you're too big for them and you don't really want to acknowledge the fact that they're out helping, but we do. How y'all doing? Good. Good. Thank you so much, seriously, for all your help. Graciously been invited inside the NBC compound inside their truck here at the uh, KPMG Women's PGA Championship. I am the captain now. All right, so we're on the show. Yeah, can we get a camera on Area Jutanagarn, please? We go over 15, I need a camera on seven. Can we find Mike? Where's Mike? See, I can do this job. This is easy. Hey, I'm Tommy Roy, and uh, I'm the lead golf producer for NBC and Golf Channel. Uh, I've had the good fortune to be either the producer or the executive producer of the Olympics, the Super Bowl, the NBA Finals, College Football National Championship, Daytona 500, Wimbledon. I've been attached to the hip with Tommy for years. We not only do golf, we do all the Olympics together. So uh, I started producing our golf coverage in 1993. How much has, have things changed since 1993? Oh, uh, significantly. What's Tommy like to work for? Unbelievable. Uh, is he intense? Yeah. And then the other thing has changed significantly of the number of hours we're on the air, the number of holes that we covered back then. It was, you know, from like 14 onward, and now it's basically 18 hole coverage and on the air for hours and hours. You don't want to be that that person on the crew that lets him down because every time he gets in the chair, he wants to do the perfect show. This is programmed, the center monitor there. That's what the people at home see. And our cameras start up here, snake their way around here to the 18th hole. Then all this area over here is our uh, digital playback machines. We call it a tape room, but we haven't used tape in, in, in the television business in about 15 years. But when we're live in one place, um, we're recording all the other uh, shots that are taking place on, on the golf course at the same time so that we can then integrate the, those shots into the broadcast. You know, usually other sports, when you're seeing replays, it's one camera being replayed, one angle. Well, we're actually kind of cutting and producing our own secondary show back here. Basically, I'll see all the cameras. I'll make sure they're all recorded. I'll talk to Tommy. Hey, here's the plan. If this drops, we're going a gamma. Then we're going gamma real speed, red real speed, X real speed, silver slow, back to Elvis slow for the reaction. And it's just big bang boom boom. Here, you get yeah. in there. Hey, can't really break it. So. Okay, well, challenge accepted. How does this machine work? Well, that's it. Basically, like a big TiVo. Yeah. And you minutes. can only do one or the other. That's why it's making. It makes oh, okay. So I am, I am breaking it a little bit. And then I can slow it down. Oh. I can replay it if I want. Yep. <laughs> How long have you done this job? <laughs> a long time. Probably 20, uh, 25 years. What's the biggest challenge of your job? Not cussing. <laughs> Seriously. You know, when you and I are going to sit there and watch golf together, we're going to call it the way we see it. But um, when I'm on headset, literally everybody in the entire compound uh, can hear what I'm saying, as well as uh, back in Orlando. Keep it real tight. Okay, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Just say she won, blah, blah, blah. We actually have a talkback system where they can hit a button and talk back to me. So say Mark Rolfing, who's walking with the last group, if uh, a player hits a shot as in a divot or something, he can let me know so we can get there in time to, to set that shot up. Yeah. I would have expected a makeup crew here on set. You guys, oh, you, we're, we do our own. You do your own makeup? Oh, yeah. Who needs more makeup, you or Dan? Oh, me. I'm way older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the headset telling the announcers every single shot what's coming because as opposed to a typical sporting event where the announcers can see everything, here they can't. Has he ever yelled at you? Uh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> no one's safe. No one is safe. You know, even Johnny Miller, who was in here for 30 yeah, years, I was say. you know, there and are no exemptions. And no. that's the beauty of Tommy. No one get, there's no favorites. If you're not doing the job or he doesn't think no you've said exemptions. something that's correct, he's going to call you out. I think that's one of the interesting things is people at home, you know, with golf, it's, uh, you know, the announcers talk quietly and there's quiet applause. And then you come into here and it's pretty crazy, <laughs> pretty loud. What's an example of something he would yell about? Like the other day, we were talking about our golf game here in the Minneapolis area. As you guys at No Laying Up would know, there's a lot of nice golf courses in the area here. So we had a chance to go play a couple. So we were having a little fun with our golf game on the air. And Tommy all of a sudden chimed in and goes, all right, that's enough about your golf games. Yeah. So we kind of backed off our golf games and got back to golf. So he kind of makes sure that we're on the right track. Dan, if you need a tidbit 
for a slow period in the broadcast. We actually won the pro am this year. Yeah, I don't know if you ever worked that, that in. Yeah. 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 Bill, can you get a car down? Yeah. No laying up guys <laughs> winning the pro am. So I'm surprised uh, Bill didn't feed you that already. My director Doug Grabert uh, sits here. He's, as I said, the director. So if we're on the 18th hole, I'll say you know go to 18. Hannah Green second shot, and then he can select from cameras 18, uh, and then Chris and and Jeff and camera 38. So he has four options there. Plus we'll have a walking uh, mini cam going with him as well. And then he's telling our technical director who sits down here which cameras will stand by 18, take 18. He pushes the button, and that's what goes up on the air. And then behind me, Tom Randolph, who's uh, our co-producer here. He's the one that's on the headset to all the spotters all over the golf course and and really is the one that gets us from shot to shot to shot because he knows what order they're hitting in. And So this is the graphics room. Uh, anything that you see pop up on the screen that's uh, superficial, not part of the picture, it all comes from this room. Are you guys prompted to put up like third shot or are you automatically, when you see it go on the screen, you guys are in charge of putting that graphic up there? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, we're, we're kind of in charge of making sure it is the third shot and it is the person we think it is. It's all going, it's all going on the paper. Well, we got uh, we got sound bites that we like to use to personalize uh, the contenders. So we sit them down after the third round, and it never fails. We always come up with a little tidbit. And it also is neat to actually hear from them during the broadcast. So I make little notes on um, the sheet on kind of how to set it up and little tags and thoughts that we have um, thought about to kind of make these players come alive during the broadcast. What's your process to get me out on the golf course? Usually just around you to the corner there is a portalette. That's usually a pre-game idea that you don't want to miss. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others. Depends on how nervous you are. Kind of like when you're playing. At least we can confirm to the viewers at home you do wear pants underneath that. Uh, I do wear pants, yeah. <laughs> we get about 40 to 50 a day volunteers and we couldn't do it without them. They, uh, they all know golf. They all love it. They actually pay to be volunteers. They have to buy their shirts, which I'm baffled by. But. Do you ever plan out your your line for when somebody's about to win? No, I don't think you can do that. I think there's thoughts that you kind of let creep into your head. Um, you get, I get asked that a lot. I think, um, I think sports is such an unscripted drama that you got to let it happen. And I think you can get into trouble when you kind of think about it beforehand. Like, what am I going to say? I, I will say though that I kind of am developing a feeling as maybe somebody's over a winning putt, like Tiger Woods and Tory Pines. I. The, the, the thought that kept coming to my mind was, I think everybody expects him to make this. So when he when he made it, it just kind of came pouring out of me, expect anything different. So I think you got to kind of let it organically happen. All right, be rated guys. Got a camera coming in. Be rated plan, man. Oh this is where they run all of, if you can kind of pan yeah. around if you want, all of the RF, all of the stuff that doesn't have a wire to it, be it radios or be it the cameras or what have you. It's really intense. They got 18,000 miles. That's JP poking out of the booth. Um, fortunately, the, the tr charges were just dropped, so we got him back this week. And here's our talent packs. But you put that on, you make sure it fits, you check in with JP, yell at him a little bit, tell him how bad it was the day before, and you go out and do your job. Are these things warm? on your backs? No, they're heavy. And for guys like me who have more gut than butt, they always are constantly sliding down. So batteries are really high tech. I mean, look at these. I think it's four rechargeable D batteries uh, with duct tape. Karen is the is the glue up here at 18. Ask Gary Coe, because he's certainly he adding nothing did. to the project. <laughs> I think the best part is always valuing the team that makes us look good and letting them know how much, how hard they work. They don't get paid as much as we do. They work a lot more hours than we do. And, and they're really great people, and we appreciate them. Do you take a big sigh of relief when you guys go to commercial? No, and that's the thing is, in football, baseball, basketball, they stop playing when you go to commercial. In golf, they never stop playing. So if you're doing one of those other events, you actually can catch your breath, regroup, and then come out. And actually, in our trucks, uh, during commercials, we have to work even harder to make sure we got everything recorded and then know exactly what we're gonna do coming out of the break. Are we gonna go live? Are we gonna be with a tape shot? Et cetera, et cetera. What's it like carrying these guys? <laughs> yeah, they're a heavy load. What can I say? <laughs> no, it's, uh, they actually make it very easy on me. I mean, both just tremendous to work with. I mean, Dan is just awesome. Gary works ridiculously hard and has everything buttoned down. And I found it it really quite easy because this is only the second time we've all ever we've only ever worked together, and it just seems to work well. Like we we're never standing on each other or talking on each other over each other. It's it's pretty cool. What's the hardest sport in the world to broadcast? Um, the golf is definitely the hardest, and, and I've had 
the great opportunity to do them all. Now the Olympics overall is is the hardest because it's so massive. Cool. Yeah. If you read between the lines, you notice you can still kick our ass. Right? <laughs> oh, we've seen it. <laughs> we played. Yeah, we were partners last week in the last year in the pro am here. You, you guys were? Yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, what's this game like? He doesn't lay up. <laughs> Hence. We cut the corner on 18 pretty nice. Gave it a go. Yeah, right. I gave it a go. It, we never found it, but I did cut the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it could still be going. The biggest challenge is, is calling it the way you see it, being critical when the time is right without being offensive. Um, and being honest to the viewer, not being a salesperson for the product that you're covering. What's but your favorite part of your job? Travel. Yeah, it never gets old. You know, living in a hotel cell from time to time, you think it gets old, but you never clean up after yourself. You never do dishes. Rarely do I do laundry. Um, although when I do go to a laundry mat, it's, it's quite eye-opening because you know I'm a 56 year old guy, moderate looks, moderate shape, but I go into a laundry mat. I'm a laundry mat 10. I'm just absolute laundry mat 10. So I, I enjoy that part. Is it hard to keep track of what's going on in the golf tournament when you're at the helm of trying to show people what's going on in the golf tournament? Well, that's uh, again what Tom Randolph is so good at, uh, and our entire crew, actually, all the people in the graphic uh, area on the other side here and in videotape is, um, with the golf experience that we have through the years, you learn, but it is complicated. And again, uh, as opposed to football, baseball, basketball, where there's one ball, and uh, you're just following the action around that ball and in the periphery of the other players. Here, uh, it's not just one field, it's 18 fields, and there's up to 70 balls in play at any one time. So it is complicated, but um, that's we're here and do this because we're pretty good at it. Well, enjoy the show. Best hey of luck, guys. guys. Thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank come you. By any, come by any time. We need a little levity. You don't, know what I mean? don't. Be careful with <laughs> be that. Careful we'll take you up by that. Okay. All right. See you guys.